Hello, friends of Komodo Platform. I'm Giuliano. It's 29th of December. I'm here to share some Bitcoin price charts, friends of crypto and technical analysis. And uh, yeah, those of you who are joining, thanks for being here. I'm going to start sharing the screen. We're going to look at Bitcoin price chart. All right. If you're here watching, thank you. I hope this is fruitful for you. And if you hit that like button, much appreciated. And of course, if you make a comment, bonus points to you. So much appreciated even more. Okay, so this is the chart that we've had. If you wanna know a bit more detail about it, um, then watch previous videos around the Bitcoin. But basically we've got these horizontal levels here of support related to low to high retracement of 61.8%. 78.6%, 88.6%. So, oops. So basically we are here, we've touched that 61.8, but really I'm gonna get into in this video, a couple of scenarios. There's the uh, flat pattern scenario, which we were wondering about previously. And then most recently, since uh, since this bullish engulfing weekly candle turnaround potential, we're looking at something more like a triangular pattern uh, that then breaks to the upside eventually. Either way, this time frame seems um, significant enough, and uh, so does this time frame. So we'll see what ends up happening. Again, watch the previous videos if you want to know more about the time frames and um, the flat pattern and the triangle. But uh, yeah, here we go. So I'll get into both of those. What I've done here is kept this this chart as it is. We'll go into the daily, and you'll see on the daily. Um, still have the, the original channel and um, previous called demand line here. And then we've got this next level demand line here. And interestingly, so the price did end up actually breaking out, reject that, that demand line, come back down now with this bearish candle yesterday, come back down to the, uh, to the, the channel and bounce off of that top of that uh, channel here, become that previous uh, Supply, I don't know if I called it demand line. Supply line here becomes a demand line potentially. Let's see, does it because so basically that's another way of saying this previous resistance, downtrending resistance line becomes a potential downtrending support line. Now that means the price could still go lower and hop down this way, or it could bounce and, and, and spring back and continue higher. And so the, both of those are, are definitely available. Um, but generally, once we break it down, as we saw, this kind of area here seems to be a prime area to get to. Uh, but then once you start throwing in this kind of trend line, it's like, okay, well, wow, we are there. We are literally at that trend line. So what's gonna happen, right? Um, if, is it gonna break through? Then, that, then that's where it goes lower. If not, then that's where it continues a bit higher, right? Maybe it has to bounce around here, as we saw on the previous video, to match some of the time frame uh, that we might expect in a triangle formation. Okay. So let's get into those formations. So that's basically where we are here on this, this chart and quite interesting time reference uh, price action. Um, yeah, you know, it's just never underestimate the, the market. One thing I wanted to show in terms of shorter timeframes, it's like, okay, we have ideas of where things might go, but trend lines are really our friend. So if we tar start taking this trend line and we're like, wow, uh, before all this price action here, okay, before what happened after it broke the trend line, okay, so before, which is here, it's like, wow, you're following this trend, okay, it's, which is built with those lows and the high, and now you get a next high, and it's like, okay, will this trend hold? It doesn't hold, and then you see it act as resistance on, on your way up, that's quite interesting, um, but it, it's also a sign that overall, maybe this trend is coming to uh, to an end, so it's definitely, and then, yeah, you're just starting to see um, divergences like like that, where, yeah, you start, to, you can question, right, at least short-term action. And so, interestingly, that is what happened. It couldn't hold that, that move up and precipitously declined. So, quite interesting. Always respect the trend lines in some form or fashion, um, but, of course, they can be broken uh, up or downside. Uh, yeah, so... That's a kind of short-term vision right now is we are definitely getting towards the recent lows. And so one thing you want to look out for is what kind of retracement is happening here. 
from the uh, the lows to the highs, and we're roughly around that 88.6 retracement. So uh, you do see a reaction here back up. So let's see if it can hold that. But uh, anyway, it'll play out over the next uh, over the next day or two. And uh, so far, here is this this vertical zone right here. We 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 reach the um, the the new year 2022. So here we are right now in the end of 2021. All right, now let's move on to, to the formations that could be uh, forming here. And I just wanted to recognize that uh, this is the short-term price action that could lead to one or the other of the formation, which includes uh, eventual, uh, uh, like, you know, a, a move higher to the next part of this triangular action or a uh, continued move lower. And now how low does that go? Maybe it just stays here and bounces or it continues down to those um, those lower ends, you know, 78.6, 88.6 of the bigger move. Okay, so let's get into it, right? Either way, I think, like for even for this, I think that the time frame works and is is significant enough, whether it comes here or here, it's like you're coming somewhere like that and then and you're also going higher. You maybe it comes before, whatever. Okay. The other option, of course, is the type of move where we end up falling down, whether we go back into this channel or whether we just keep bouncing off of it. And which I think is more likely, especially when we look at the weekly and we start to make some sort of again, if this is an A, B, C pattern, we should be finding some sort of impulsive one, two, three, four, five move. And maybe the one. Like if we are doing that and this is somehow a one, then this one impulse wave here uh, maybe is the long wave. Again, we're gonna see maybe this is one and then this is 0.618 and then this, wherever it lands becomes, let's say uh, 0.382. And that's how we can even find ourselves down to these price levels here on an impulsive move that makes up uh, the C wave of uh, an ABC flat and we get then our opportunity to get higher. So hopefully that makes sense, but this is the kind of thinking we're doing here. And I'd like to just go through that visually. So let's get out of this chart here. That was just for the, for the, uh, for the, uh, the flat pattern, which would come down here. Okay. Um, and it would, it would play out this whole head and shoulders scenario as well, quite nicely. But uh, the other, the other option would, have, would be the, the triangular action where the price just kind of gets around here and then we can get to our, our next level and then our next level and then whatever it takes, okay? Um, and in terms of the time frame, we it actually comes quite sooner than that. Uh, so yeah, whatever, you know, it'll come. Anyway, okay, so we'll watch. All right, without further ado, so I'm gonna come into here on the Get Orox Terminal, manage chart layouts. I'm gonna load a chart layout. And we've got here both of them. Um, we won't go through the cycle count right now. We're just going to go BTC macro flat and test two. Test two is the triangle. Let's check that for triangle. Okay. So here we go into the triangle, um, just into a line chart. That's fine. So you remember these angles. Okay. Interestingly, that Ichimoku cloud zone and top of the Bollinger Band proved to be uh, a resistance more than an opportunity to fly through. So there you go, uh, that's on the daily price chart. And now we are failing at the 200 day moving average. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we're in the, the, this next impulse that's gonna lead us lower. And then we're gonna find another correction and a final lower. So, um, but that's not this one, at least for now, uh, you know, cause I, I seem to be going back and forth and in this chart, let's see, that's what this chart is doing. It's making the whole market go back and forth and not know. Uh, and that's basically the only thing that I could anticipate <laughs> so that's fine. Uh, so if we're not in the flat pattern, but we're instead in some sort of triangle action, maybe we're going to do that kind of action. And that's fair enough. Um, so that's on a daily price chart. We see uh, these, these regression type of lines um, coming into play now with this uptrending support line. So it, that was what I said before. Is this uptrending support line going to hold? It, it did its job there again and trying to do it here. So is it gonna just keep bouncing or is it good to go and now it will go? 
So that's pretty cool. And nevertheless, we still end up in this kind of time frame very soon. This is the end of the month. So we are about four weeks to about nine weeks away. Like this is a, a four week to nine week window here. All right, six weeks about right here. So, and that brings us to the, uh, the beginning of February. Um, all right, now in terms of the bigger picture here, it's looking something like this. Whoops, we don't know necessarily um, where this candle, sorry, this candle, yeah, where the candles will close. So where this triangle is what I meant to say, will actually range yourself. Maybe it will come closer and maybe it'll be farther. Um, how much farther? I bet it has to do with this kind of time region. And for this to be this triangle that's ascending and not the flat pattern, then it probably has to stay around this kind of angulation. As soon as we start getting around here, then you're looking at like anything that goes below the 61.8, I think is more so in terms of a flat pattern because then you're getting more um, of a, a decent relationship between the A, let's call it, and the, and the C. At least if the A and the C are like a 78.6 relationship, nearly a one, that's fine. If they're only a 61.8, then uh, this, this high just doesn't feel high enough for that. So I, I get the sense it would need to be for a flat pattern, it would need to be at least down towards this 78.6 type of level. And if not closer to the, the 88.6 that's showing there. And that plays, this is an extension pattern, uh, compare the A with the C, the extension, sorry, the extension tool. Uh, and if we were to retrace the whole V wave itself, like we said, we had that 61.8, 78.6 and 88.6 levels. This is not perfect because I'm not exactly getting at that. But so in that sense, yeah. I think that if we're triangling it out, the price can even come down, let's say within this, this type of um, funneling where, yeah, we break, uh, we break this uptrending um, support line and we start funneling down, okay? So there's that option. Um, and this is the, that's the triangle action, but in that sense, um, you know, even if we support here, it can, it can be part of the triangular action where then instead we are like that. Okay, so that's basically all I wanted to say with the triangle in that sense. And then, you know, we find an A, a B, a C, a D, and an E before we uh, go to the upside. That would be the idea. So that's definitely still in the cards, still in play. It's gonna take time to play it out to find out. So we watch a bit more short term, but because we came down below this 20, 20 week average and getting rejected by it with this big red candle again. Uh, that gives me the sense that it's gonna take longer and maybe we uh, do need to come down and touch the Chimoku cloud area and get in on, on, on that. In which case, maybe we're looking at the flat pattern. Uh, and so let's get out of this one for now. And we can look at timing and stuff uh, in a future video. We'll see as this keeps going on. Uh, if it does look like it's a triangle playing out. Otherwise we'll stay with the flat pattern because that was the original consideration. And based on what's happening here, it's like, yeah, there's definitely a good chance it can still be that flat pattern. So we'll go into that now. So to do that, we're gonna open up the um, load chart layout, um, BTC macro flat. And just remind you that this is basically the idea that we are looking at where we have a flat pattern a, um, on the weekly time frame. We're looking at uh, some form of three, three, and now a five. And so it, it, it could work nicely. It could definitely work nicely. And here on this move, if we start looking at it, um, using the, using the wicks, that's where I got that one, two, three, four, five, but even with the bodies, uh, with the bodies and the closing prices on the weekly, we can have like a, a one over here. We could be in the two, uh, or coming out of it into the three and then into a four and into a five. And that actually, interestingly, fits this channeling on a weekly, on a weekly time frame. We have a potential channel here that works with, but at the same time, uh, it's not even so much of the channel. Like I wouldn't necessarily expect that, but it could play that. But it, it, we do have the wick here and that is a, a price point that is significant enough. And it could create this, like I said, a longer one wave then a shorter three wave and then in the shortest fifth wave. And that could lead us down to the 78.6 level here around $36,000, $37,000 each. 
for Bitcoin against USD. And that comes from just extending, extending the price. Let's say uh, here's a one. And then the three wave, as we see it here, would bring us about to 61%, uh, 61.8 of the one, which would bring it down to about 39K. And then if we were to take that and say, well, okay, we're going to retrace back up roughly to this kind of trend line here, which seems to be forming. Okay. So at least we could say the four might be around here and then boom. Uh, so then if we take the, the extension from that four type of area, uh, which, you know, this, this support turned resistance makes sense. And then it comes down 38.2% of that um, first wave it brings us roughly around the 36, $37,000 uh, level. And uh, so that's kind of the idea. And it, it allows the, um, the impulse, like if we were to invert this scale, that makes sense, right? You have like a one, two, three, four, five um, in that way. And that makes a nice way to terminate this type of C wave, uh, which in fact, in the proper scale inversion uh, or version uh, would lead us then to turn around to go to the upside. So I hope this makes sense to you. Um, three, three, and then we're finding a five. This is a weekly time frame, So, you know, it might show, it might not, but it looks like so far it, it very well could and we'll have something along this line. This is still a really good possibility. And I think at this point, it's still difficult to, to, to choose. It really is like 5150. I think I'm finding this flat pattern as a, like a 51 uh, and then 49 for the triangle. Just because the triangle feels too comfortable, like people don't mind it going down if it keeps going up uh, more and then coming down less and going up more, you know, like an upward triangle. In this case, it's more scary. And people will be so afraid once this like head and shoulders starts playing out, if that's what's going to happen. But anyway, we'll see. Uh, there's just the opportunity. The other option is uh, squirt out of here and we're into 2022. And uh, this is just really weak um, failing C wave of an, an ABC pattern. And then we go higher. Uh, yeah. The other option is that this is just the ABC itself here. And then now this is part of a bigger wave going higher and we need to recount, but I don't think that's the case. All right, that's it for now. I think I'm done. I hope this makes sense. I hope this is intriguing for you and I wish you well. Okay, until the, the next time I am out of here and uh, stick around. Okay, I'll come back with more. Goodbye. Wishing you love, peace and happiness.